you doing tonight? Dirty old gonna do something else of here, eh? Figure we are. Don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna freaking do something. Besides, pick up that crap. Dropped all my shrink wrap I did, boys. Shrink wrap everywhere. For freak's sakes. But let's go outside and uh, we're gonna hook up one of them 12 volt doodad in my bobbers. So hopefully I'll have enough frigging light out there for you. But maybe we'll take it off, bring it in and do it here. I think that might be the thing to do, I do. Frigging right, I do. So let's grab the old key rooskies here and take a little walk out the old trucker rooski. Hey, eh? and we'll take the old dash plate off. I'll show you how the old dash plate comes off. Frigging right, it will. Light still works from Sensei, boys. All eight frigging LEDs. Frigging right, they do. Some people were saying they quit, but I haven't quit. Obviously, you must have a short in your house somewhere, boys, if they're quitting. Burr, eh? Burr. Get in the old rig here. Let me grab some lights and stuff, boys, so you can see how this dash comes apart. So you can't break it, eh? Let's get everything out of my friggin' way or I'm gonna snap. Oh, I just threw the keys in the back seat. That's good. Friggin' one of them. Gonna start the trucks. Get damn cold here. Whoo, eh? Whoo. All right, so what we gotta do first of all is turn the light on. Oh, we gotta turn the music off. There we go. And I gotta mount ya. I gotta mount you, boys. I forget where the hell I'm gonna mount you, first of all. Hey, I'm not in the seat. I don't need a seat belt on, for frank sakes. All right, what am I gonna use to mount you, boys? Girls, peoples. Dual purpose, the old flashlight rooski here. Can you see? Hopefully you can see over here. It's pretty freaking bright on my eyeballs, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for you, eh? Don't forget to subscribe and like if you like this, and uh, hit that notification bell bar button, why wouldn't you? So I'll unplug them for now. So I just unplugged you, so hopefully the battery lasts for a few minutes here. So what you want to do to remove these dash covers is you just pull on it, boys, right? Okay? Just give them a little yank job on the old Chevy Silverado, and they come right out, they do. There we go. So we'll slide that down somehow, like that. And then we'll unplug this one, unplug this one like so, and we'll uh, unplug this one like so. So you get a plug there for the traction control. You get the plug there that I already put a USB in, but I'm gonna remove that one and put in one of the good ones that tell you the voltage, eh? Or I might put the voltage one over here. But I gotta unplug this here, what do you do? Somehow, hey? Somehow. Fingers are frozen, boys. Get out of there, you son of a beaver. All right, so we got that unhooked. So what I gotta do too, while I'm doing this, is I gotta run this up from the old dash Kamaruski, and we're gonna solid mount this bitch we are. So I don't have any cords. Let's take up from here, and hopefully I can get to it somehow, because I don't. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> boys. <laughs> stick, stick it up in here. Make it a little tighter, boys. Just saying, eh? Let's just keep our fingers crossed. It's all in the way you hold your tongue. It is? I get into this glove box, but she's broken. So let's get this thing down. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Now let's dump everything. Why wouldn't we? We've got to find the cord, which should be right here somewhere. She's got lots of cords, you know? Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, oh, I see it. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. We got her, we did. So we'll pull that up like that, and we can put this back up. And I'll run this around here like so. I'm not gonna cut that, because in case they ever wanna put it somewhere else, I might want the extra cordages. Tuck it in here somewhere. So it says, do not cut cord. Okay. So we're gonna cut that cord we are, but not right now. Let's go back in the house, we'll get what we need, and we'll put the other USB. Holy. Put the other USB in the old other holage. And then we get a snippers and snip that. Bob. Your uncle. Pete's your aunt. All right, so now that we're in where it's warm, we can actually work on this thing and stay warm, we can. So what I want to do is I want this one to be on the other side. So we're going to try to unscrew it, we do. Which might be a bitch because it barely fits in there. How the fuck did I get that in there like that? That's freaking really awesome. Frick sakes. Boys. Girls. Bulls. It's not even using this ring dings. Like, what's really going on? Doesn't even need it. It's not even tight anyway. So many tools we need for one little job, boys. There we go. It's off. So we'll unthread that back out of there. Because it's an always tight fit, hey? Now the reason why I'm doing the switchy switchy, I won't be able to see the volt meter if I don't switchy switchy, hey? But see how nice and tight that fits, boys? It fits right in. 
Like a glove, me? Eh? Oh, way. There we go. So that's back out. So now we gotta pop out this lighter here we do. Always save your lighter, boys. Never throw out the cigarette lighter because one day you might want to put her back in. So there's two little release pins, one on each side, and then it just pushes out, boys. And the whole thing comes out, even with a little ringy, eh? So then we'll just set that aside for now. And we'll screw this one back in this side, like so. Like so. You haven't heard me say like so in a while, boys. So there we go. There's the original one back in that hole. And now we'll put the one with the voltmeter in that hole. I'm not going to use the plastic cover because we don't freaking need it, we don't. So if we can pull that off, we can unthread her, boys. Test her on the old 12 volt system, make sure I've got the right one, because I think I ordered one without one with. So we got negative, and we got positive, boys. And there you go, eh? That battery's at nine volts, we're in trouble. We should shut that off. So now that's off, we can turn this one in, we can. And it should thread right in just like the other one, boys. Thread her in, Jim. Oh, boys. <coughs> This one's not gonna come out. I'm gonna be here for an hour doing this, so just have some patience, eh? So in the old Chevy Silverado there, these things fit really good, they do. This one's like super tight. Nothing wrong with being super tight, eh? It's a little bit of workout, Jesus. Oh man, that's freaking decent. Now, can I get it straight is the next question. Make me a little persuasion on this one. There we go. The only problem with that is they're different. I'm pretty friggin' picky when it comes to different, eh? What do you think? Should I leave that like that or should I go get the other one that's the same? So they look the same. Let me go grab it. I'll be right back. Wait here for me. With a dirty lens. Why wouldn't you? So just so you know, if you put these in a vehicle that you don't drive every day, I just want to mention this. In the old Silverado here, it's, it's constant 12 volts, so it's always got a little bit of battery draw. So if you put these in something that you don't always drive, I recommend a separate switch, boys, so you can shut it off or make sure it goes off with the key, eh? So you don't sit there and draw the batteries for like weeks. But I'm not sure if this one here, I thought I ordered one with and without voltmeter, but it doesn't look like it because it's got the same lid. So let's just double check this one. So that one has a volt too. So that one there, we're not gonna put in. Or does it matter if it has two voltages? And we can see the voltage draw when it's charging. Yeah, let's put it in, that way they match, eh? Why wouldn't we? So we'll unthread this one again. So we have a matching set, boys. And this one I can use somewhere else I can. There's always spots to use these things, I'll tell you. They're handy, handy they are. And you can get these from anywhere. eBay's your cheapest bet. You'll wait a few months for them, but hey, boys, when they come, you got them, you do. Friggin' right, you do. I wonder if I should put a switch on these. Probably going to kick my ass for not putting a switch on these, boys. We can do that later, we can. Let's do this one in. Like so, hey? Like so. The old carpal tunnel feeling this one it is, boys. Oh, play. What's really going on? All right, so that one's in. So now we just gotta make sure it's straight. So we gotta turn, turn. That's upside down, boys. So there we go. Didn't have to hack and slash the separator at all, and now they match. Look at that. Looks like a factory install, doesn't it? So now that we're done that, we can go back to the track. But first of all, we're gonna need them, and we're gonna need couple of little doodads. You should know what doodads are. Everything's a doodad here at Pilsen's. We need a couple of these doodads, hey? So let's get rocking and rolling and get this thing in. So what you want to do is not look into that light for one. So we want to hook this up with those clips and we want to hook this up with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this, boys. Hey, okay? Make sure you cut it long enough that you can put it back on in case you screw things up, hey? Why wouldn't you? And we got a yellow and we got a, a white. So it's definitely not the colors I was hoping for because I'm thinking yellow is probably power, boys, is what I'm going to say. So make sure when you cut off this thing, you cut one wire at a time because it's hot all the time and you don't want to cut into two wires because then you'll just pop the fuse. So cut one. And then we'll cut two, boys. There you go. Make sure you leave them long enough so you can reuse that plug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim them both, make sure they don't touch, and I want to check and make sure I get these right. Make sure I get these right, boys. Probably just cook my dash cam, boys. I'm just saying. Still smells okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart and we'll see what wire goes to what. So we got, holy, can't see nothing. What does that say? Can you see it, boys? Oh, careful. 
output. 12 to 24 volt. So it shouldn't be an issue to hook this up at all. So we'll go that one and that one. And we'll see if she comes on. There it is. We got her, boys. Perfect. I'm waiting for it. Let's wait for it for a minute. Make sure it talks to me, eh? Insert a memory card. We got her, boys. Yellow is positive. Decent. And I'm lucky I didn't blow her up, to be honest with you. Because I was just guessing. Sometimes you can short these things if you go backwards, eh? Just saying. But we got lucky, and we didn't short dick. Hey, we didn't short dick all, boys. So we did good. We did. So if you're ever not sure... Don't do it. But the dirty old Bilsif, don't give two rats asses, hey? If I short, I short it, boys. That's just the way it is. We move on, and we go to the next, eh? So there's one. We'll get the other one on. And now we have constant power on the old webcam. Unplug that and not record yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. I got you now, boys. Can't just reach in the old Bilsif's truck and unplug the webcam now. So I like it hardware, to be honest with you. Insert a memory card. No! I'm busy! Freaking busy we are! Aren't we, boys? Insert a memory card. No! Alright, so now that that's done, we can pretty much hook everything back up we can. So let's bring this over here. These things are marked positive and negative. So it looks like this is positive and that's negative. You understand what I'm saying? What's positive, what's negative? That's negative. Negative goes to negative, boys. Just in case you didn't know that. Okay? Some people don't. Some people wouldn't have a freaking clue, eh? And then positive goes to positive, boys. And we should have voltage. 12 volts, boys. Decent. We're getting somewhere we are. So we'll stick that in there. So this one's negative over here. Negative towards me. So we'll plug that one in. Like so, and we'll plug that one in like so. And then we can put her back together, boys. Slide her together, we can. Make sure you get underneath, tucked in. Get the keys out of the way. How the F did I get the fucking keys in behind that goddamn thing? So we'll stick that in, and we'll stick this in. Hey, okay? now we just gotta pop her in the hole, boys. Decent. There we go. So let's fire the old bitch up and see what she comes up to. Hole 14 one, boys. So now let's plug the camera in and see if it draws any juice. We'll see if she juices, boys. See if it makes a difference on the meter. So top one is five volt, 2.1, oh, they're both the same. So we're decent that way. So let's plug this in like so, and we'll plug that in like so. And are you charging? You're charging like a son of a beaver. Friggin' right, they're working. So there you go, let's plug in the, the old iPodage on this side. So it does draw a 0.1 volt. Well, that goes in there real good. From China, boys. Give it a minute, eh? You can't rush these things from China, you can't. There, oh, that's tight. And there we go, boys. She's charging. So that's pretty friggin' nice. And now see, if I want, I can take the old center console Maruski here. I can lift that up. I can lift that up. And I still have a cigarette lighter down there if I need it. So we'll leave that one. I was gonna put USBs down there so I could charge my phone down here. I use a lot of freaking charging things I do in this truck, so I need them where I can get to it. Because there you have to lift up everything. If you have your coffee in the whole sack there, then you gotta move your coffee and everything else just to lift it up, and I'm not into that at all. Frig, no I'm not. So everything works. We're good that way. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you like this video, hook up the old USB with the voltage meter in the old Silverado, eh? Freaking right you will. But uh, hopefully everybody had a good night, and uh, you know what to do for now.